Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Reading a book of poetry on a plane in a suspicious manner. For one British woman, a practicing Muslim, it was enough to get her questioned by anti-terrorism police. Faiza Shaheen believes that she was singled out because of the way she looks. Newly married, Faiza and her husband Chris were returning from their two-week honeymoon in Turkey. But after flying into Doncaster Airport, Faiza was picked out, stopped and questioned by police. The reason? Reading a book on Syrian culture and poetry on the flight to Turkey a fortnight earlier. She had been reported by an alarmed stewardess. Today she's been meeting the book's publishers to see what can be done next. Above all, she wants an apology. I spoke to her earlier. So I was on my way um, to outbound flight on my honeymoon journey to Turkey. So your honeymoon? Honeymoon, yes. Um, I was reading a book called Syria Speaks about art and culture. Um, on my journey, uh, a cabin crew member reported me for reading this book to the anti-terrorism police. And this book is not a jihadi how-to manual, is it? I mean, no, no. It's an inspiring book about artists and writers expressing themselves around the kind of issues in Syria. Had you been blonde and blue-eyed reading that book, would you, do you think you would have been uh, questioned afterwards? No. I think it was, it was a matter of racial profiling. I Plus feel the like book you were reading. me combined with the book kind of brought that upon, yes. But you only found out about it at the end of your honeymoon? Yeah. Nothing suggested during my flight that, that I was being reported for this book. It's mm. only on my return when I arrived to the UK and had two anti-terrorism police officers waiting for me. Out, out of the blue? Yeah. Out of the blue. I, right. I didn't expect anything. So as I walked through passport control, I was taken in. I asked them what this, can, what this was regarding and they said it was a routine check. And when mm. I said what's a routine check regarding, they then responded that I was um, reported for reading a book on Syria and I was going to be questioned under the anti-terrorism schedule seven Law. That's not routine, is it? No. On one level, do you understand why you might have been questioned? Because if you are going to, if anyone's going to commit jihad, that is the, the entry route into Syria, and you go to yeah, Turkey and then yeah. you travel across country. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware that, that that is something that is happening, but I think what they, what they had to be mindful about was, what was I reading? It was Syria, which is a country, a book on art and culture, which I have a right to read, and perhaps thinking about taking steps before reporting me to the mm. anti-terrorism police. So I, feel, I feel like that's where the gap lies. Perhaps the, the, the most appropriate way to do it is to take me aside mm. and ask me if it, obviously, again, it would cause humiliation if she was asking me in front of others. So taking me aside, asking me simply what the book was about. She didn't have that understanding. There's a gap in training, perhaps. Mm. And, and then, yeah, that would have clarified a lot of things. You've then, asked uh, Thomson Airlines for an apology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you received one? No. No. Any response at all? No response. When did you ask them? So, um, after the initial incident, which was the end of July, it took me some time to actually put the complaint in, just with everything um, being very overwhelming. So I submitted it at the start of September, um, and they usually reply within 28 days. And the police were satisfied with your situation once they finished yeah, the interview? Yeah, they had, they had no concerns. And, and, they and how long did that last? Approximately half an hour. Right. Yeah. Quite yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Not a great way it, to end a honeymoon. It, it felt longer, yeah, yeah, because we've, we've definitely not been reminiscing about our honeymoon. And yeah. you work with um, adolescent mental health, health patients, don't yes, you? Yes, that's right. And also you work with radicalisation. Yeah, and um, part, part of my job um, is also kind of tackling issues around anti-radicalisation mm -hmm. and p potential vulnerable young children who are um, kind of at risk of mm -hmm. radicalisation. So we, we, look at, we look at that and kind of assessing them around their mental health. So it is a part of my job. I think experiences like this can really kind of bring a lot of lack of sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. It can really increase vulnerabilities amongst the young people. And I feel like that could then maybe increase the exploitation of radicalization. Mm. So I think it's doesn't so, help. it's not, it doesn't help. It's really crucial that they mm. think about how they implement and use these acts. Pfizer Shaheen. Well, Thompson Airways told us that their crew undergo general safety and security awareness training on a regular basis. As part of this, they are encouraged to share any information and report any concerns that they have as a precaution. They are looking into the allegations of racial profiling.